Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, let's start out here. There's been quite a bit of changes here in the past couple weeks, or last week, really. Um, Junior's still doing great. He's actually switched over to adult roaches now, so he's really starting to grow. Um, he's always knocking down his plants and all that. But, I mean, there's been some new additions, you know, Get yeah, a little, little bit of new critters, then I got rid of a couple. Um, the new room set up. Got quite a bit of new tanks and a couple racks to hold them and everything. Um, here, I'll start over here. There, you know, empty toads, feeding tank. Uh, got, you know, 20, 30 male roaches that way. We ain't got to go digging in the big colony all the time. Scale. Um, the Savannah Monitor, I actually took up to my buddy the other day and uh, picked something else up from him. But, you know, he was back to pretty good health. The Savannah looked anyway. You know, I took him up there and my buddy said he was in really good condition. So that's cool. Got a new chameleon cage along with that one. Um, got this from a lady that he actually, she came in. It is, I'll get to that in a minute. But it was actually living in this cage, which there was mold and all other sorts of shit. Well, she brought it out when you know, I picked up a couple of these cages from her. She said, hey, you know, I got this. Do you want it for free? And I said, oh, you know, it, it looks like shit. I'll take it. You know, I'd rather save him than make him suffer. Got the new chameleon cage. Um, not really a whole lot of mice left. I got one female down here. She might be pregnant. Then the one that gave babies and this one. Top one's empty. Um, the beardies from Badass Beardies, doing really good. Starting to really fatten up, shedding. You get to see some of their colors going on. It's cool, they change color all the time. Sometimes it's hard to even tell them apart. But they're doing really good. <clears throat> He's like almost orange right now. Um, their new setup got the, the back wall made with that... Uh, Gaps and seal foam worked out pretty good. Um, not really content with their cage and the way it looks, but you know, with all the new animals and getting everything situated and trying to figure out everything in the room, you know, for right now it's it's okay. Like I said, the savannah's gone. Uh, not a whole lot with that. I pretty much just bought him to get him, you know, back to health. Then ended up trading him to my buddy. <coughs> But he'll be missed. He was pretty cool. You can actually get to the closet now. I'm excited about that. Um, roaches in the bottom one. Uh, the top will eventually be roaches too. As soon as we get that second tote going, then uh, just some bedding and all that accessories. Um, starting over here. Actually got some cat litter pans. You know, we actually picked up a lot from that lady. Um, not this stuff, but that's just, you know, just bullshit water bottles, reptile carpets, and all that sort. Um, the rescue, she's about three years old. She's really, really skittish. I'm guessing no one's ever picked her up before. You know, I can't even pick her up without her freaking out. But, I mean, at least she's eating, so that's a plus. Come on. I don't want to pick her up and freak her out, but there she is. I don't know what type of leopard gecko she is. Um, she got purple tail, purple tail. Um, she's kind of yellowish striped. I know it's hard to see her. There she is. But I'm not exactly sure. I never really. You know, got into all the knowledge about leopard geckos and all that. I'm going to start to. You know, I, I actually went and picked her up, a male, to breed with. To see if that takes off anywhere. Just got a little cricket rock in there for them to come out. You know, just a basic setup. So, hopefully she'll be alright soon. She's a little on the skinny side, but I plan to fatten her on up pretty quick. Here, awkward, I know out of place, but just a female rat. 
I, you know, same with her. I'm just fatting her up a little bit before I throw her in with the male. Um, here's the new one I went and picked up when I got rid of the Savannah Monitor. He's really tame. I really like him. Got some awesome color patterns to him. Um, from what I've been looking at and was told, he's a tangerine rainwater albino. He's really cool. There was a female up there with him too, and I might actually be going back to get her. It depends on every on how I feel about it and everything. But just some really cool colors and patterns. He's really nice. Nice little fat tail. So that's really cool. See how the leopard geckos go. Depends on if I'm gonna get into them or not. They're both eating really well, so that's a plus. But he's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, just got some accessories and like that I need to clean that I also got from that lady. But I mean it was dirt cheap, so I couldn't say no. Uh, just organizer stand, heater is a little bit cold in here this morning. I got the air conditioning for these summer days that are coming up. It's getting hot as hell out. Egg crates, you know, water, water crystals, all that, food. Um, I actually moved the frogs over here. They're now eating the pinky, pinky mice from her in the middle. They just actually ate last night. But they're doing really good. They're starting to really fatten up. Gaining, putting on a couple grams. This is the 20 gallon rack. This is a 10 gallon rack. <clears throat> I got four ten, 20 gallons on here. One of them split at the top, you know, in half. I got a male and a pregnant female in one of them. Um, just got all the tanks, you know, like I said from that lady. We got like two 10s, two 20s, a 15 that's over there, you know, a bunch. So it, it took a minute to kind of figure out how it's all going to fit in this one room. So I got a couple empty tanks at the bottom. Um, her babies, that's the mama rat, they're starting to crawl around. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. You can see, you know, all the patterns on them and what they're going to look like and all that. Uh, I've only fed off a couple of them, so it'll be quite a bit of rats. And she should be having her litter maybe in a week. So that's male. He's probably the nicest rat out of all of them. But they're all doing pretty good. Um, moved the mini fridge to actually under this table. Had to prop it up you know, a couple inches for it to fit, but there was just no way that it was going to fit in the room without it being under there. Um, the boa, she just actually ate today, a couple mice, just because I ain't got no rats to feed her right now. Um, she's getting huge though, so that's good. Um, took the light off of hers for right now, it was really just a, for viewing anyways, she's got a heat mat under here. I mean, she's just, she's getting huge. Come on, let go. Uh, I gotta put it down for a second. I'm not gonna mess with her too much because, like I said, she's kind of eating, but she's getting a decent size to her. She's a lot bigger than some of the other boas that I've seen the same age as her. I don't have any plans on breeding her or anything like that, but I also have another buddy that, you know, breeds all the boas and is into that, so. I don't know where that's going to go. Um, the chameleon. Chameleo, he's doing really good. He's getting huge. He's growing so fast, which is unbelievable. It's really cool. He'll eat right in front of you now. You know, before he was kind of shy about it, but you're still a cricket in there. He'll snatch it up. Fortunately, everybody's already fed today, but this cage is kind of boring for right now. You know, not content with that either, but got this one, and they were fighting. He was, or she was actually biting her, and she had a bite mark on her, so we got this chameleon cage along with that one. And so we decided to put her in here. We got this waterfall from that lady for free. You know, I didn't have a pump, but. Ended up getting a fish pump for a couple bucks and, you know, did some work to it, got it working. You know, just a little basic setup in there for her to be okay for right now. She's actually right there. 
but she's doing a hell of a lot better. You know, putting on a little bit of weight compared to before. She was skinny as a twig. Didn't want to eat because she was always scared that she was going to get bit or attacked or something. Um, as far as right now, empty 15 gallon, 15 gallon breeder. Um, like I said, along with, you know, the two other 20s that are empty right now, I don't know what I'm doing with those yet. You know, I'd like to get another snake or something. But it'll take time. Not a lot of time, but it'll take a little bit. <laughs> um, my two female normals, they're doing all right. Um, it's been two weeks, and she still hasn't ate. She's still kind of caught and shed a little bit. I've gave her a couple baths, try to help her out, but you know, hopefully she'll eat here in the next couple of days. Cause I'll need to. I'd really like to start fattening them up quick. Well, she's doing good, nice and friendly. Um, I got a thermostat from that lady too. You know, I got a heat pad under there. It actually can. It's over here. It's a cheap one, but it works. Um, it's actually controlling a heat pad for them two under there and hers all the way over here. Um, so that's nice. Instead of, you know, the heat pad under here before was like 115, 120 degrees. You know, it was getting pretty hot. So it was nice to pick that up for dirt cheap. Um, she ate a wrap pup, you know, a couple days ago. She's starting to really... You know, put on some weight compared to her sister over here that just doesn't want to eat. Uh, she's really, really nice. So doing good. And, you know, for right now, they're in some little six-quart tubs. You know, not a whole lot of space, but it's big enough for the size they are until, you know, pick up any more snakes and all that. And, you know, looking to build some racks pretty soon. Oh, shit. Um... That's why I got the cattler pans over there. You know, that's for the, gonna be the rat rack. I really don't like keeping them, you know, in aquariums. My girlfriend doesn't really like to play and run around and all that, knowing that they're food. You know, it doesn't bother me, but I'm pretty much heartless. Um, update on the beta. The beta is still living. I I don't know how long these things live, but I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. We put a bug in there, see if she would eat the bug, but she didn't. But, who knows, time goes on, it's still swimming. Um, that's pretty much it, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot has changed, but, you know, the thing that, I, I just can't get over this, there's, this thing is so nasty and moldy and it's disgusting, there's like half an egg crate in there or something. And it came with like this little thing in there saying there's some snake plant in there. Like it's growing in there or something. I have no idea. But it's going thrown out. But hopefully the leopard geckos, you know, they take off. Hopefully they mate. I might actually go get that other rainwater because they're really cool looking. You know, here in the next, you know, month, then probably get the incubator. Start breeding some of them. You know, wait for a couple beardies to grow up. Junior out there, I got a male for him. If she is a female. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted on anything new that comes up.